two satellites launched together at the end of 2025 may look like just another routine mission, but this one quietly tests how space can be observed in an entirely new way. This video explores why China's twin Shijian 29 satellites matter, how pairing spacecraft changes what can be detected in orbit, and why this experiment signals a deeper shift toward smarter, more precise space awareness that will shape how Earth's orbital environment is understood. Launching two satellites together is not a coincidence, and it is not simply about redundancy. The Shijian 29 mission placed two spacecraft, Shijian 29A and Shijian 29B, into orbit at the same time to function as a coordinated system rather than independent platforms. That design choice immediately expands what engineers can test in space. When satellites operate as a pair, they gain something a single spacecraft cannot provide, perspective. Two platforms observing the same object from slightly different positions can compare timing, angles, and movement. This allows for far more precise measurements of orbital behavior. Small changes in distance, orientation, or motion become easier to detect and verify when data is collected simultaneously from two locations. This paired approach also enables experiments in relative navigation. Instead of relying entirely on ground-based commands, the satellites can measure their positions relative to one another and adjust autonomously. That capability is essential for future space systems that must operate continuously, efficiently, and with minimal intervention. It also reduces delays caused by Earth-based control loops, which becomes increasingly important as orbital activity grows. The Shijian series has long been used to test emerging technologies before they appear in fully operational missions. Earlier spacecraft in this family have validated new sensors, propulsion methods, and space environment monitoring tools. Shijian 29 builds on that legacy by focusing on system-level coordination rather than isolated hardware. It is a test of how multiple spacecraft can function as a single sensing unit. This shift reflects a broader change in how space missions are designed. Instead of relying on a few highly complex satellites, future architectures are moving toward distributed systems. Smaller platforms working together can cover more area, adapt faster, and recover more easily from unexpected conditions. Shijian 29 fits directly into this trend by exploring how cooperation in orbit improves performance. The phrase space target detection can sound abstract, but in practice, it refers to a very specific challenge. Identifying, tracking, and characterizing objects already in orbit with high accuracy. This includes satellites, fragments of debris, and objects whose behavior may change over time. The goal is not simply to know that something is there, but to understand how it moves and evolves. Shijian 29 is designed to test technologies that improve this kind of awareness. These technologies typically include optical imaging systems that track objects using reflected light, infrared sensors that detect heat signatures, and ranging techniques that calculate precise distances and velocities. Optical systems offer high spatial resolution but depend heavily on lighting conditions. Infrared sensors can detect objects regardless of illumination but often provide less detail. Ranging methods add another layer by measuring exact motion patterns. When two satellites use these tools together, they can cross-check results and filter out errors far more effectively than a single platform working alone. This coordination is especially important as Earth's orbital environment becomes more crowded. Thousands of active satellites and countless fragments of debris move at high speeds along intersecting paths. Even small uncertainties in tracking data can lead to incorrect predictions. Improving detection accuracy helps reduce false alerts and supports safer long-term operations in space. Previous experimental missions in the Shijian and Shijian families have already demonstrated debris monitoring and proximity operations. Shijian 29 advances this work by focusing on simultaneous observation and data fusion. Instead of collecting information independently, the satellites can combine their measurements to produce a clearer, more reliable picture of orbital activity. Another key aspect of this mission is learning how detection systems behave over time. Short-term observations are useful, but long-term monitoring reveals patterns. Gradual orbital drift, subtle changes in rotation, 
or unexpected maneuvers become easier to recognize when data is collected continuously and from multiple viewpoints. The technical choices behind the Shurjian-29 mission extend beyond the satellites themselves. The launch vehicle and site provide important clues about the mission's role within China's broader space program. The satellites were launched aboard the Long March 7A, a rocket designed for missions requiring precise orbital placement and higher energy trajectories. This vehicle is commonly used for advanced missions that demand accuracy rather than speed. Its selection reflects the importance of placing the satellites exactly where they need to be to conduct coordinated experiments. Equally significant is the launch location, the Wunchang Space Launch Site. Wunchang's coastal position allows launches over open ocean, enabling heavier payloads and more flexible flight paths. Over recent years, this site has become the preferred location for China's most sophisticated missions, signaling its role as a central hub for future space activities. Together, these choices highlight a careful, deliberate approach. Shurjian 29 is not about speed or spectacle. It is about control, precision, and long-term planning. By using a high-capability launcher and a modern launch site, the mission ensures that experimental conditions are as stable and predictable as possible. This approach is consistent with how China develops new space capabilities. Technologies are tested incrementally through dedicated verification missions. Only after performance is confirmed do they appear in larger operational systems. Shurjian 29 fits squarely into this model, serving as a stepping stone rather than an endpoint. Another important aspect is what the mission does not reveal immediately. Details about payloads, sensor performance, and orbital behavior are expected to emerge gradually through observation and analysis. This slow release of information is typical for experimental satellites, encouraging careful study rather than speculation. In the coming months, analysts will watch how the satellites move relative to one another, how long they maintain formation, and how their orbits evolve. These subtle signals often provide the clearest insight into what technologies are being tested. This approach also allows engineers to study how shared data is synchronized, processed, and refined in orbit, revealing practical limits and efficiencies that cannot be replicated through ground-based simulations alone. All of this brings us to the broader lesson of the mission. Shurjian 29 demonstrates that some of the most meaningful progress in space happens without dramatic announcements. Two satellites operating together may seem subtle, yet this mission reflects a deeper shift toward coordinated, intelligent observation of Earth's orbital environment. By testing how spacecraft share data, maintain alignment, and refine measurements in real time, the mission offers valuable lessons for future space systems. As tracking data accumulates and orbital behavior becomes clearer, Shurjian 29's true significance will continue to emerge. What ultimately matters is not the launch itself, but how these experiments quietly shape the next generation of space operations. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.